Okay, guys. Back. Punkyot's healed, and we need to switch. Who's gonna be the best one? My opinion... Well, Gyarados could still do it, actually. My opinion would be Jinx. But I definitely... Dude, Jinx is having such a fucking wiggle. But I, I want to, like, try and, um... No. Hold on. Yeah, alright, we'll do get we'll do Gyarados first, and then we'll switch, because I have an idea. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. I hear Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old Duff was once tough and handsome. Well, that was decades ago, his shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for battling. Red, I'll show you a real how a real trainer battles. See, I don't remember Agatha appearing in the anime. Obviously, she fucking did. I just don't remember it. See, now I'm pretty sure Gengar has that levitate ability, which is kind of why I'm thinking. What does Dragon Dance do? Physical or special? I think it's physical. Well, either, there, either way, I don't want to do it. Now I want to do it. Fuck you. Asshole. <laughs> Ouch. That hurt my Gengar body. No, don't do that. No. I don't even remember what time I started. I think it was... I'm going to clock it at 17, even though I've been going for at least probably 30 seconds now. Yeah, I'm going to try and at least be consistent and pay attention to that bit. So in case she heals, I'm going to go ahead and do my Yeller Fluter. I meant to put away that Leaf Stone because we don't really need to keep it on us. Yo, that was rude. If I can hit... If I can hit you, it'll all be over. No, my Garadur! That was real rude. I think I've explained the difference between badly poison and regular poison. Badly poison meaning it uh, gets it doubles over time. Gold mats. All right, so here's where we can switch then. Um, there was also because I can expand on this. Back in Gen One, because a lot of people don't know, but Gen One is actually really, really terrible in the sense that it's like the most broken game ever. So if someone ever used toxic fuck you, toxic on you, all you had to do was switch pokemon and then you could switch back and it lo it lost its effect. So you would go from just being badly poisoned to just regular poison just by switching out. So that was a uh, pretty pretty broken. Yeah, yeah I'm going to put you fucking real proud of yourself now, aren't you? You can be real proud when I just, just do that? Fucking spin you around? I've always wondered what the hell strength was actually supposed to be. Like, it's it's such a vague concept for a fighting attack, for an attack, not a fighting attack. Like, what should this move be? Strength! How does one show strength? I don't know! Like, do this? Do they just flex? Raichu's like, yeah, you like that? And Golbat's like, oh shit, I'm really shaken up over that. Did I say Golbat? I hope I said Golbat. Arbok. Okay, so originally Agatha was supposed to be Ghost, but because Gen 1 was trash, and there wasn't enough Ghosts, they essentially based their entire Elite Four around Pokemon that there weren't enough to expand upon. So, we ended up with kind of an extra poison. Which, no, hold on. Yeah, no, I remember now. I was trying to think of Gen 2 as well. No, wait, is that a thing, Gen 2? I know a certain poison is, but... So I'll save that for a different discussion, different day. I probably could have killed it in one hit had it not been for that Intimidate. Which is the best ability. One of the best. Hunter. We can't kill a Hunter because it'll be floating about. Garados is still paralyzed. We'll do Chozard. Because Chozard's not going to really get any life light, let's be real. So what we can do, right? is we can go ahead and blast burn this one and then from there we can just switch out and uh... I don't know what I'm gonna do because Garados might be in Pain City yeah, see there's, there's Gengar numero dos Punky Out's not gonna be helpful. We're just gonna send him out and then 
We're gonna let him go down in a blaze of glory. So instead of bite, I think what I might do is wow, it's really high level. We'll give him a surf, I guess, and see how much surf does. Now obviously, mm, I think I might have restarted the timer. Oh wow! Thank you for your glorious saluge booms. I like having my booms saluged. It's beautiful. Now Gengar is actually not that defensive or really like it's it's fast and it hurts, but that's about it. So it can't take many hits. I don't think she's used her thing yet, but it looks like there's a citrus berry, which is great because as <laughs> me four years ago wouldn't have understand a fucking understood a fucking citrus berry, but now now I get it because I use them too, only for like online playing. See, because now what I'm thinking is we can switch back to Chozard and then maybe Blast Burn, and maybe that'll do something. Because Chozard's not going to be getting much attention in this Elite Four. Hootily boops. So, that's why I'm trying to give him, like, a spot. So, ah! Oh, I'm a genius! I am Bill Nye the Science King. Not a guy, but a king. I think we took around, like, five minutes. Yeah, we'll do two parts. You win! I see you at the old Duff season, you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. Alright. Oh shit, I ran into her face. Her fucking apron. Okay, so now we need to give ourselves a nice little pat on the butt. Pat your butt now. Did you do it? Okay. So we can do fresh water on Needos. And we're gonna need lemonades for the other two contestants on the Elite Four is very mean and hurt my body. Also, Gyarados has really awesome health, like mine in particular. So I like that, because I don't even think my Omega Ruby one has health this good. I think it's like closer to the 150s. So I'm very happy about that. I think I remember how this one starts. I think. And so far, no one's really get. I don't feel like Chozard or Punky Out have really gotten the time to shine, but you have to do what you do. Like, I hate to say it, but Jinx kind of carries this, this Elite Four challenge because she's got the edge on just about everyone. Ah! I've heard about you, Red! I lead the Elite Four. You could call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. There's no being clever with them. Oh, there's... Okay, I get it. what he means now. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Red. See, when he said being, I thought he meant it as a noun and not a verb. Wow! Alright, well, let's uh, give this a shot. This should um, hopefully do... Wow, I forgot Raichu was a 51 as well. Go Raichu. There you go. Gotta remember that one. And then Dragonair. So... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like, when I originally thought about this, like, Jinx was never an option I considered, and I'm saying this, like, years and years ago, but, like, because of it being a Psychic and an Ice-type, it's just so fucking well fit to just destroy the Elite Four that it's, it's insane, and I love it. So really, this, this LP, I guess you could say, kind of made me really like Jinx. We'll do Gyarados for this one, instead of Raichu, because we can just easily surf it. I like Dragonair. I think Dragonair is a cool Pokemon in terms of design, but you know, obviously the stronger ones, Dragonite. I also really like Aerodactyl. I feel like it's kind of undervalued, I guess, underappreciated. Probably not so much anymore, but at least at this point, 
It didn't. It felt like it had more potential, but it wasn't being used. I'm surprised it lived through that surf. Thinking about it, yo, I'm being hippier beamed. The fucking strain of DNA has impacted my body. Hang in there, Garados. Thankfully, he's like really strong. I'm telling you, dude, Garados is like one of the best. And I'm the only person on Earth that uses him, Dragon Arrogant. See what it is? is I want to say there's like three dragons, because again, Gen 1 was crap, only had one family, and it's like, one has fire, one has electric, and then one has ice. And that's pretty much the strategy. <laughs> but, you know, a single Jinxington will uh, fuck it right up. It's also a good thing Jinx is really offensive. And that boosted EXP. And now it's gonna do Dragonite, which is gonna go down even quicker, because guess what, bitch, you're fucking quad weak now, you should've stayed as a Dragonair. And I'm faster than you. Get a load of this fucking asshole, man. Yo. It's all over now. That's it! I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Red. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge left. There is one more trainer to face. His name is... Pigeon. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League champion. Okay. So, since this was like 10 minutes, I'm gonna just go ahead and heal now and then say my farewells as we eventually go and kick Pigeon in the arsehole. Wow, we didn't. We did awesome. Okay, I think we should keep Raichu out front if memory serves. Lemonade should be good for. Yeah, we don't really. Like, look at this. We're on top of it. We'll do potions for the rest of them just so they're all. Okay, we can do a fresh water too. Just so they're all as full as full can be. And then we'll probably do some, uh, ethers, because I know he's going to need some thunders. I don't know, I can guesstimate. We'll take a look through their moves real quick to see. Um, you. I don't really care so much about eight, that's no big. See, that's what's great about having multiple types of heal. We'll do that again anyway. Yeah, because that's, that's twelve, that's, that's... That's four more than eight. Alright, so who needs the PP? Because you got five of that. I think for the most part everyone's in decent condition. That ice beam's a tiny bit limited. And blast burn. Those are the other ones I would consider, but definitely needed on Thunderbolt. Max Ether. I don't want to waste a Max Ether. Oh, regular Ether. There you go. It's not even often I use these damn things. Like, they, for the most part, feel pretty fucking useless. Uh. Yeah, I think we're, uh. We're in pretty good standing. So next time. Where'd my potions go? I just used the potions and now they're not here. I don't know what the hell just happened, but those aren't potions. And no, I'm not acting. I, I genuinely don't know what happened. Those aren't potions. Okay. I will take a look at the footage and see if maybe this whole time I had been using rare candies to heal my Pokemon. Alright. As a kid, I really wish I had experienced this because it would have been such a huge mind blow to be like, Oh man, your rival's the champion at the end, and you are, because that feels like such a nice plot twist. I hate that you never, I never got to experience the huge plot twist of Giovanni being the gym leader. Like, I feel like I got so deprived. But, it's still such an awesome thing to have as history. So, I'm Jason Farrar, I will see you guys in the finale.